G'day, I'm Ash, and today I'm going to take you through some of my most hated vehicles in War Thunder. Now, please note that these are my personal least favourite, and you may disagree, that's fine. But I thought I'd update this and uh, leave it as a bit of a 2020 edition. So, leave a comment with your bottom 5 hated tanks or vehicles below. Some of these vehicles are inherently pretty good and incompetent, hands can be driven exceptionally well. And some of the vehicles on this list are just terrible in general. Number 10 on my list might come as a surprise to some of you, but it is slow, heavy, completely cumbersome, but has developed a reputation in the tank community for being something of such that it really an example of how not to do tank design. This is the mouse. Now, the mouse is a fantastic vehicle, let me just preface this, but the way that War Thunder has gone about implementing the vehicle and the way that Gaussian have also restricted the access to this fantastic specimen of a vehicle is really quite a sad thing to behold. Yes, it is useless, but it's a fun kind of useless. And I'd argue that the vehicle as a whole isn't really that competitive with tanks that it particularly faces. That being said, I love the mouse, but I also hate it. Whenever I drive it, I get mad anxiety because I want to go faster. The thing is just incredibly beefy. And I mean, yes, it's a meme, but I still hate it regardless. And that's why it's my number 10. Number nine on the list might actually shock you. This is the IS-7, so rank five bordering 8.3. It does have a 130 millimeter cannon, and that's fantastic, but the armor itself isn't exactly greatest at 8.3. Now at 8.3, what are some of the other vehicles you can play along with it? Well, there's stuff like the ZSU, the IT-1, uh, you can also have the BMPs, and I'd argue the BMP is actually a more useful vehicle than the IS-7 itself, even though the IS-7 is ranked five rather than you know, predating everything else. Even the IS-4M, I'd say, is a better vehicle than the IS-7, and it's buttering 7.7. .7. And the previous vehicle, the IS-3, is 7.3. So, again, the vehicle isn't exactly the greatest, considering it is a massive target. And yeah, it is mobile, it is fairly durable as a vehicle, but the turret cheeks are quite weak, and I would argue that its biggest weakest is the fact that its battle rating is too piss poor. It's just quite funny that they had to leapfrog the IS-7 with the Object 279, and now that vehicle is better than this one and outclasses it in every way. Number eight on the list might actually surprise you. Now, I do apologize to my fellow countrymen, but the Matilda Hedgehog at rank two, battle rating 2.7, is essentially the worst vehicle that could possibly ever exist. Now, yes, it is a bit of a meme. It is a delicacy. It is a part of the worst system that War Thunder could implement into its game, that being the battle pass system. That is one of the reasons why I don't like this vehicle is because of the way that you can acquire said vehicle. The other issue pertains to the fact that you can't fully close the actual launcher itself, nor can you aim it properly. It's a hull aimed vehicle. But in order for this vehicle to be really effective, you're, you really have to gauge your range. Anywhere bef between 210 meters and 175 meters, I find to be sort of in the ballpark for hitting vehicles. But that is kind of useless when the actual historical vehicle could fire up to 450 meters in front of you. A very close support weapon that is really impossible to use, and as reload is bloody a long time, so it's effectively useless, plus you get ammo racked if, even if you've used or expended all your shells. It's kind of an oddball vehicle, really. Number seven on the list is a Type 59. Not any Type 59, the ZTZ 59D1. This is a Chinese vehicle, which is completely and utterly useless at its current battle rating. I do feel like the vehicle really suffers. 8.7 is really a struggle for something that is basically out of date at that point in time. For those of you who don't know, the Type 59 is more of a main battle tank, although it could be considered a light tank as well. It does have side skirts, it's got some ERA, it's got smoke launchers, it's got a 105 mil gun, but the modernizations that they've done to it really do not make this vehicle effective. Even at shells it gets the Type 83 heats with 400 millimeters of penetration. Well, you could consider that to be very effective. Even the APDS that comes with stock, which is 337 millimeters of penetration, isn't really that great either. Yes, it does get night vision, and yes, it does get laser range finder, but it's really just a Type 59 with a bunch of bolt-on armor, and that is why it is my number seven on this list. Six on the list is the M36B1. Now, I featured this in the thumbnail of my first top 10 list, which is basically my most popular video. It does have a 50 caliber on the top, it's ranked four buttering 6.0, but it's a Sherman, an upgraded Sherman that has access to a 90 millimeter cannon. 
it's really not that effective even as a vehicle at 6.0 i really feel that it should be 5.7 in order to be effective considering that its ammunition choice isn't exactly the greatest it's slow it's really it is really piss poor the gun itself is a slow traverse being on the jackson turret that is and the sherman itself well again do you really want to play a sherman at rank four not exactly the greatest thing out there is it this is the same vehicle that made me basically quit war thunder for two months last year so that is something that i would heavily consider when <laughs> objectively looking at this vehicle number five might surprise you considering i actually own this vehicle but herman the german sherman also known as the m4748a it was a vehicle that was given out purely as a pre-order bonus vehicle that they've used and tied to i guess this exclusivity and digital content exclusivity for a while i paid quite a lot of money for this vehicle when it came out at a rank 2 battering 4.0 as one of the rarest shermans in game again it was the first sherman in game it was back when ground forces came out it was the only american vehicle but still 75 millimeter a cannon with smoke grade launchers it's predatory price that has been sold and sold again when war thunder keep telling us they will not sell this vehicle ever again is why i hate this vehicle the most it is exuberance and it also is just plain excessivity on the digital scale it is predatory i don't like this kind of behavior this is why this vehicle is on my number five Number four on my list is quite interesting again, and it's another German vehicle. No, I don't hate German vehicles generally, but the now before it's like is a rank one, but riding 1.3, and it's one of those land cruiser heavy tank type deals. That is really interesting. It's got a 75mm KWK cannon and a 37 as a secondary, but also a bunch of machine guns. Now, it's got two turrets with machine guns and one auxiliary machine gun as well as the two primary in the turret it's a really big target and for 1.3 i really think this thing should be 1.0 <laughs> minimum it's just one of those experimental vehicles that i despise greatly although it does have panzer granada 40 for the 37 the vehicle is slow cumbersome trouble to play but can be fun in certain extremities although i haven't yet seen that success now Number three on the list is something rather convoluted. It isn't really a vehicle, it's not really a tank either, but it is a helicopter, and more precisely helicopters in general. The way that they fit in with War Thunder tends to be a top tier exuberance and an assertion of power. Essentially, they are vehicles which dominate the battlefield, or at least they used to prior to the advent of more conventional anti-air defense systems. But essentially, helicopters are fantastic. But I hate them for one specific reason, the way they fly. If they performed like they did in Battlefield 3 or like they do in Armor 3, for example, maybe it'd be a little bit better and a little more easy to comprehend. They are incredibly unique. They are incredibly annoying when you have to face them. And with a focus that War Thunder tends to have on making us play on smaller maps, team killing and spawn camping tend to be more of an issue. Helicopters just add to that bundle of issues that War Thunder has. Number two on my list is ships. Now, I'm not a big fan of big grey floaty things in general, but naval forces in War Thunder tend to feel a little bit outdated, they feel outclassed. Now, others of you would disagree with that because of the fact of dreadnoughts and so on and so forth. I don't have any of these vessels, I don't have an interest in playing the two different tech trees in order to get access to these things. My best advice is you go watch another content creator named Flip Stug, and you can find out about naval from him. This brings me to my number one most hated vehicle in War Thunder. The R3 T20 FAHS, also known as the piece of shit that nobody should be playing. The Italian rolling armored car that bumbles its way around destroying tanks left, right and center and seems to forget that it is primarily fighting World War II technology rather than what it should be facing. Probably 7.7 and 8.0 vehicles considering its current uh, era. A rank 3 4.0, even with a 20mm cannon with 600 rounds, is utterly fantastic. Combined with the speed, this thing breaks the game at 115 kilometers max speed in realistic setting. It's almost as if Elvis Presley is coming out of the UFO and saying, ah oh, yes, I choose this vehicle as my mode of transport, because that thing is just an utter nightmare to face and to verse and that is why it is my most hated vehicle of 2020 i sincerely hope you enjoyed the list today my name is ash uh, i do other content you can see them up on the cards and the things thank you very much for watching let me know your top five hated vehicles and i'll catch you in a video shortly Bye bye